चैप्टर ट्वेल्व अर्थ मून एंड द सन क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम ग्रेड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस बुक क्यूरियोसिटी लेट अस एनहांस आवर लर्निंग क्वेश्चन वन इन फिगर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन सेवन हाउ मेनी आर्स ऑफ सन लाइट डू द नॉर्थ पोल एंड द साउथ पोल रिसीव ड्यूरिंग वन रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ आंसर इन द गिवन फिगर द नॉर्थ पोल इज इन डार्कनेस विच मीन्स इट इज विंटर इन द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफेयर During this time, the North Pole receives zero hours of sunlight, while the South Pole, experiencing summer, receives twenty-four hours of sunlight during one rotation of the Earth. This occurs due to the tilt of the Earth's axis. Question two: Fill in the blanks. First, stars rise in the east and set in the west. Second, day and night are caused by the Earth's rotation. Third, when the moon fully covers the sun from our view. It is called a total solar eclipse. Question three: State whether true or false. First, lunar eclipse occurs when the sun comes between the Earth and the Moon. False. It happens when Earth comes between the sun and the Moon. Second, sunrise happens earlier in Gujarat than in Jharkhand. False. Sun rises earlier in Jharkhand, which is to the east of Gujarat. Third, in Chennai. The longest day occurs on the summer solstice. True. Fourth, we should watch the solar eclipse directly with our naked eye. False. It can damage the eyes. Fifth, seasons occur due to the tilt of Earth's axis of rotation and its spherical shape. True. Sixth, the Earth's revolution around the sun causes day and night. False. Day and night are caused by rotation, not revolution. Question four. Padma Shri saw the Orion constellation nearly overhead at 8 p.m. yesterday. When will she see Orion overhead today? Answer: She will see Orion overhead about four minutes earlier, so at 7:56 p.m. today. Question five: Nandini saw a group of stars rising at midnight on 21 June. When will she see the same group of stars rising at midnight next year? Answer. She will see the same group of stars rising at midnight on 21 June next year after one full revolution of the earth around the sun. Question 6 Abhi noticed that when it was day time in India his uncle who was in the USA was generally sleeping as it was night time there. What is the reason behind this difference? Answer This happens because the earth rotates and different parts face the sun at different times. When India faces the sun day the USA is on the dark side night Question 7 four friends used the following ways to see the solar eclipse who among them was being careless First Ravi Kiran used a solar eclipse goggle safe Second Jyoti used a mirror to project the sun's image safe Third Aditya saw the sun directly with his eyes careless Fourth Aruna attended a program arranged by a planetarium safe so answer is Aditya was being careless question 8 fill in the circles in figure 12.18 approximately with one of the following sun moon earth solar eclipse so we know in solar eclipse moon comes in between sun and the earth so here comes sun then moon and then earth In lunar eclipse the earth comes in between sun and the moon so in the middle we have earth left sun right moon question 9 the moon is much smaller than the sun yet it can block the sun completely from our view during a total solar eclipse why is it possible answer because the moon is much closer to the earth than the sun its apparent size looks nearly the same as the sun from earth so it can block sunlight completely question 10 the indian cricket team matches in australia are often held in december should they pack winter or summer clothes for their trip answer they should pack summer clothes because december is summer in the southern hemisphere where australia is located question 11 why do you think lunar eclipses can be seen from a large part of the earth when they happen but total solar eclipse can be seen by only a small part of the earth answer because during a lunar eclipse the earth's shadow is very large so many places on earth can see the moon in shadow 
बट इन सोलर एक्लिप्स द मून शेडो ऑन अर्थ इज वेरी स्मॉल सो फ्यूअर प्लेसेस कैन सी एट क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व If the Earth's axis were not tilted with respect to the axis of revolution, explain what would be the effect on seasons. Answer: There would be no seasons. Every place on Earth would receive nearly the same amount of sunlight throughout the year, so there would be no change between summer, winter, spring, or autumn. Next, exploratory projects. Repeat activity 12.2, but replace the torch with an electric lamp. Then place the globe at different positions on a circle around the lamp while maintaining the tilt of the globe. First, note down your observations regarding how much of the northern and southern hemispheres of the globe are illuminated at different positions. Second, rotate the globe and take a note of the length of the day and night on different parts of the globe. Third, repeat second for different positions of globe on the circle. Answer: Observe. Northern hemisphere gets more sunlight when tilted towards the lamp zone. Southern hemisphere gets more sunlight when it's tilted towards the lamp December. Rotate the globe and notice day length increases or decreases depending on the season and position on earth. Next, the earth goes around the sun in an oval shaped path. Draw two circles with the same center, one with a radius of 14.7 cm. and another one with a radius of 15.2 cm if 1 cm corresponds to 10 million km the two circles represent the closest and farthest distances from the sun note how small is the difference between these two distances answer oval orbit drawing draw two circles with same center radius 14.7 cm closest distance radius 15.2 cm farthest distance conclusion difference is very small showing that distance from sun is not the reason for seasons next suppose the tilt of the earth's axis of rotation increases will it cause more extreme seasons find out if the tilt of uranus is more than the earth and about the seasons there write an interesting article for a newspaper or your school magazine about it answer if earth's axis tilt increases Yes it would cause more extreme seasons hotter summers and colder winters uranus has a tilt of about 98 degrees so its seasons are very extreme and unusual article what if earth tilted like uranus imagine one day you woke up and found that the earth had tilted just like the planet uranus not by 23.5 degree but by a whopping 98 degrees what would happen how would our seasons change how would our daily life look let's explore this wild and wonderful science thought super hot summers freezing cold winters right now earth tilt of 23.5 degree gives us moderate seasons not too hot not too cold but if our planet tilted like uranus we would experience extremely hot summers when one half of the planet would face the sun for months the other half would be completely frozen in winter darkness imagine 6 months of sunlight without night and then 6 months of night without sunlight half year long days and nights currently day and night happen every 24 hours but with such a tilt some places on earth would experience day for nearly 6 months followed by night for the next 6 that means people might sleep during the day in long summers schools and shops may only run for part of the year growing crops would be difficult in long winters or scorching summers life would change completely challenges for humans animals and plants humans we'd need extreme clothing thick wool in freezing months and light cotton during the boiling summers some places may even become unlivable due to the heat animals birds and animals would find it hard to migrate or survive in such conditions polar animals might have longer hunting seasons or longer periods of starvation plants plants that depend on sunlight and rain would either grow super fast in endless daylight or die in darkness why uranus is so strange uranus is unique in our solar system it rolls on its side like a spinning ball tipped over 
its extreme tilt causes long seasons lasting 21 years each weird winds wild weather and freezing temperatures earth would never be the same if it tilted like uranus what can we learn this imaginary scenario teaches us that the tilt of earth's axis is very important for our life even a small change can affect climate seasons and daily life our current tilt gives us a perfect balance enough to enjoy all four seasons think about it if you could choose your season all year long which one would you pick summer winter spring or monsoon so friends this is an article of the exploratory project i hope this helps for students making projects it's still not the end my friend so friends we have completed all the question answers from chapter 12 earth moon and the sun this is the final chapter of the book and with this we have completed ncert textual question answers from all the 12 chapters of grade 7 subject science book curiosity also we have completed the short notes and summary of all these chapters you can find the link in the description and on the screen and i will also share the playlist of this so you can find all the videos easily if you like the video kindly like it and share it with your friends also subscribe to my channel next when the book for class 8 will be available for science curiosity i will work on it and let's meet in the next video of another subject till then take care and respect your elders we will meet in the next video thank you for watching